Herkese selamlar arkadaşlar. Bugün yeniden Mafya 2 diyoruz. Mafya 2'nin Definitive Edition'ını oynayacağız. Daha HD kalitede görüntülerin daha güzel olduğu bir hikayeye yeniden başlayacağız diyebiliriz. Buradan devam etmek için. Ya, as diyor. Güzel. Evet diyelim hikayeye gelelim. Mafya 2 2011 yılında çıkmıştı arkadaşlar. Definitive Edition'da HD kalitede olduğu için tekrardan Mafya 2 diyoruz. Yani kalitenin, görüntünün, görselliğin daha üst seviyede olduğu bir oyun oynayacağız şu an. Mafya 2'nin normal görüntülerini hatırlayanlar, oyunu oynayanlar iyi bilir. Definitive Edition'da daha yüksek kalitede bir oyun için hikayeye başla diyoruz arkadaşlar. kabul et diyor. Zaten orijinal versiyon Sadece Türkçe yama yükledim ek olarak. Hikaye başlıyor. Ben de herkese iyi oyunlar diliyorum. Bakalım. İlk oyunu oynayanlar kalitenin farkını anlayacaktır arkadaşlar. My name is Vito Scaletta. I was born in Sicily in 1925. That little guy's me. I'm standing there with my parents and my sister Francesca in front of our old house. <coughs> I don't really remember too much about the old country, except that we were pretty hard up. And then one day my father decided it was time to move away. Böyle bir bardak bir su içtim. Away from Sicily, across the ocean, to start a new life in America. Never in my life had I seen anything as fantastic as Empire Bay. It was beautiful. Sicilia'dan Amerika'ya olan bir yolculuk. On the other hand, I'd never seen anything filthier, more disgusting than our new shithole of an apartment. The American Dream. It was more like a nightmare. My father started working at the port for the guy who arranged our immigration. It was backbreaking work, and what little money he made mostly went towards booze. Eventually, my parents sent me to school. I had to learn English. I sure as hell wasn't going to do that in a neighborhood full of Italians. That's where I met Joe. Come on, Vito, hurry it up. We ain't got all night. Over time, Joe and I got to be best friends. Vito ve Joe. And since we were both poor and there wasn't much work around, <sighs> oh shit, we started a little business of our own. Freeze! Police! Stop! Vito, this way! Throw me to bed! Stop! I'm gonna shoot! Shit. Okay, you bastard. Spread your legs Fuck. and put your hands on the fence. I'm sorry, Vito. Well, that one time it didn't work out so good. The year was 1943. America was at war. And the army was looking for guys who spoke the language to help with the invasion of Sicily. I was 18. And anything seemed better than jail. Who says you can't go home again? Thank you. 
Operation Husky. I was assigned to the 504th Parachute Infantry. On the 11th of July, we were supposed to be dropped over the southern coast of Sicily. But we got hit by flak and had to bail out. Shh. Way behind enemy lines. Only three of us made it. If it wasn't for the local resistance, we wouldn't have had a chance. So when Mussolini's soldiers came into the town and started rounding everybody up, we decided to return the favor. Se nessuno parla, quest'uomo morirà. All right, Scaletta. Allora, traditori! Somebody we got to clear the balcony's men! Behind the sandbags! You guys had enough yet? They're falling back! Let's move! On me! Hadi bakalım savaş başlasın. Shit! Get up here, Skaleta! Shit! Come on! Gesù! Ai chassi, le zampare prigionieri prima che arriva l'esercito. Corporal, this guy's saying there's more troops headed this way. All right, you and Williams take out that MG, then find the prisoners. We're gonna need every man we can get. Hey, Skaleta, over here! Kaliteyi bayağı yenilemişler ya. Kalite bayağı fark ediyor yani. Sana ateş gelecek. Hayatınca adamlar patladı tabi. Skeleta, you alive? Yeah, just about. Taşıyoruz o. Get off your ass and let's move it. Grab all the ammo you can carry. This might be our last chance. On the stairs. A grease ball. Catch. Hey yo, have fun. Must have the prisoners upstairs. Clear the second floor. Skeleta, you take point. The door, Scaletta. Kick it in. Arrenditi, o gli faccio saltare il cervello. Ah! Adam, Mara, what are them? Tara, Jam, the fish man, it's real. Bahale. Shit. Looks like we're going this way. Come on. Hey! Where the hell are you going? Oh, shit! How many of these fuckers are there? Give some fuckers a shot. What the hell does it look like I'm doing? More shooting, less talking. Hey, fine by me, asshole. I'm not selling it all. Shit, this balcony isn't gonna work. We gotta keep moving. Let's get inside. Get some chicks. Get inside. We're gonna die out there. İçeri bir gir lan, içeri bir gir lan. Öf, kan kalmadı. Mermi de kalmadı. Oğlum bir çekil de bir çıkayım şuradan. Kardeş bir çekilsene. Alo. Abi buraya sıkıştım ben ya. Bak ya.
Ah, ya tiene. Alvo de Vaxiste! Arriba no Alvo de Vaxiste! Botaram no Fosse! Veneta! Mandamos-lhe a Leferno! See the gun on the balcony, Scaletta? Get on it! If these guys get inside, we're fucked! See the gun on the balcony, Scaletta? Get on it! Let's go! Get on that machine gun! See the gun on the balcony, Scaletta? Get on it! Oh shit, they got artillery! Get inside! Now! Hey, thank you. Tank yedi, tank yedi, tank yedi, tank yedi, tank yedi, tank yedi. Kaç, kaç, kaç, kaç, kaç. Çeriyi gümletti adam. Dicevo al mio amico di stare attento. Fregatene di fare attenzione, fai ciò che ti è stato detto! Lan vurduklar askerlere bile sıkıyor abi. Che diavolo sta dicendo? Chi si crede di essere? Un'offerta da parte. Ma è più davvero Don Carlo? Cacetto, un congetto a nostra maretà come cucina. Ma chi è quello? Lo conoscete? Eh, lo conoscono tutti. Don Calò è un uomo d'onore. È uno stupido trucco degli americani, non ditemi che gli credete. No, è davvero Don Calò. Ogni tanto dovessi ascoltare i consigli di noi altri del posto. Ce la rendiamo? Sapete che potete fedarvi di me? Che ne dite, eh? Don Carlo, the head of the Sicilian mob. An entire garrison of troops surrendered that day. Why? Because he told them to. Harry Potter'daki 9-3 çeyrek trenine benziyor. Trenin gidişatı. A few years later the Nazis put a bullet in me. I was in the hospital for a bit. Then I got a month's leave so I could go home. At least for a little while. Vito! Over here! Joe! Hey! Welcome, Welcome home, buddy. How'd you know? I got well, my sauce. Come on, let's take a ride. Nice car. Comes with the territory. I know you're itching to get home, but first, let's get a beer. Yeah, sure. There it is. Empire Bay. Tell the truth, you miss it? Hey, there's a bear shit in the woods. Not like this place ever done me any favors, but anything's better than a foxhole. What's with this shitty weather? They're saying this is the coldest winter on record. Paper say it's gonna keep up like this for weeks. Don't worry though, a drink will warm you right up. How long's it been since we had a drink together, Vito? Two years? Almost three. Tony Sicelli's party, right? Come on, Vito, come on. The last drink we had together was right after your romance funeral. Right before you shipped out. You remember. Ah, uh, five minutes. We're already talking about my deadbeat father. Can we change the subject, please? So tell me, pal. What was it like over there anyway? I kept reading the papers to see what was going on. And you know how much I hate reading. Yeah, I know. You guys kicked Mussolini's ass, right? Uh, sort of. We had a little help from a guy named Don Calo. No shit. Don Calo. I heard of him. Really? You bet. 
I know guys like him over Fish here. Wise guys. Right you work okay. for them, you set. You fuck with them, you die. Nice to see you've been busy. Yeah, and I heard you got a medal, right? From old man Patton himself. Whoa, so you're a real war hero, huh? <laughs> and then what? You screwed a couple of Sicilian broads and came home? Yeah, right. <laughs> the old country. Over here, you can screw anything with a heartbeat. No one gives a shit. What a country. Here's to the U.S. of A. and to having you back home. Salud. Ah, salud. Chin down. So how come you're back? They let you out early for good behavior? Nah, I took a bullet a couple months back, spent some time in the hospital, and now I'm on leave. Wait, wait, wait. You mean you gotta go back? <laughs> What'd you think? The war ain't over yet. You don't want to go back, do you? Nah, of course not, but what can I do? One minute. Last week, you know, the guy, the guy's name is uh, Vito Scaletta. Thanks, Giuseppe. All right, I'll see you later. Okay, listen up. It appears that your injury is much more serious than it first appeared, and the doctors say you can't fight no more. What? Oh, whoa, whoa. did you just... Like I said, I know people. You get all the official paperwork tomorrow. When it comes to the right stamps and signatures, it's just a question of money. You're kidding me, right? <laughs> Isn't that a bit risky? It's me that can end up in a slammer, you know? And how am I gonna pay for it? I got it covered. Think of it as a welcome home present. And don't worry, the documents will be clean. Trust me. Well, thanks. You're welcome. Como no frade, you're like a brother to me. Now you can start thinking about what you're gonna do next. Sure. But first, I gotta go home. All right, you wanna ride? No, thanks. I want to walk around a little, see what's changed since I've been gone. No problem. Say hello to your sister for me. Come see me tomorrow. We got a lot to talk about. I can't believe you just got me out of the service. Thanks again. No problem. I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Here we are. All right, thanks. Keep the change. But the fire is so delightful. And since we no place to go. Hey, I'm gonna... Snow, let it snow, let it snow. Man, it doesn't show... Vito! He's not... Let him go! Yeah, we'll be right back. Forget it, you chimney! The light turns way down low. Let it snow. Close your eyes. Of course there are. When the final day of the Hi, Mama. <laughs> I'm back. Vito. Vito, my boy. <laughs> my boy is home. I thought I'd never see you again. <laughs> Francesca and me, we wait. Hey, sis, what's and going on? We wait for you. Uh, yeah. Oh. Sit down, Hi, sit down. You must be hungry, Vito. Francesca made you a special dinner. Zuppa di pollo. It's good for you. Wow, looks good, Frankie. It's a shame your papa didn't live to see this. He would be so proud, Vito. Yeah, sure. Vito, you know better. Sorry, Mama, sorry. Benedice, Signore, pronunciata, preparata la volontà. Stiamo ricevendo, provvedendo a tutto quel cinema di noi. You should get some sleep. Your room is just like you left it.
Biraz yatalım. Biraz uyumak iyidir. I see you two in the morning. Sleep well, mio bambino. This ain't gonna cut it. I gotta find a place to stay. So you have to go back soon? Actually, uh, looks like I won't. Uh, Joe's taking care of it for me. Joe! You want to get into trouble again? Mama, would you rather me go back and get shot again? No. Exactly. No. Joe probably saved my life. Promise that you won't get in any more trouble with that, Joe. You know, your papa used to work for this man at the waterfront named Papa Lardo. He's in the union. You could talk to him, work hard like you were your papa. Talk to him. Please, promise me you go talk to him today. Okay, Mama, okay, I promise. Grazie, Dio. Let's be able to talk to him. I don't give I'm a sorry. damn. I don't care we'll if you gotta sell hey, everything you got. What the hell's going on here? Vito! You mind your business, no. asshole. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Nunn. Come on, Junior. I'm gonna take you to school. Oh, tough guy. Scaring a woman, huh? Come on. Show me what you got. Vito, please. You're making it even worse. Ah. Ah, fuck this. Yeah, that's right. Get the fuck out of here. You're gonna be sorry. The both of yous. What the hell was that all about? I'm sorry, Vito. We didn't want to bother you with this. Bother me? Bother me with what? Come on, tell me what's going on here, Frankie. Right before he died, Papa borrowed money. A lot of money from a loan shark. Thinking he'd get a better job and pay him back. We found out right after you left for the war. How much? Two thousand dollars. What? Shit. The worst thing is, this guy wants it all back by the end of this week. Otherwise, the debt goes up again. <sighs> I ain't gonna make that kind of money working at the port. Who is this guy? I don't know. Mama won't tell me. It's okay, Vito. We'll manage somehow. Don't worry. I'll take care of this. I promise. Thanks, Vito. Take care of yourself. I gotta get my hands on two grand fast. I bet Joe could help me out. Is it fixed yet?
Laf hatten çok güzel olmuş ha. Kaliteye baksana abi. Açtı temizlikçi teyze duruyor mu burada? Excuse me ma'am. Uh, uh, do you know where Joe Barbara lives? Yo, kapıyı açıyor. Is this a bad time? <laughs> We ain't getting out at all. Come on in, let's talk. Uh, you disgusting pig. I picked up these broads on my way back from the store. I've been waiting for you. All right, girls, that's it for now. I got business. Stop by tomorrow, okay? We'll pick up where we left off. Chop, chop. Come on, Joey. Why do we have to stop when we can all have fun? The fun's over, baby. Later, I say. Me and Vito here haven't seen each other for a long time. We got a lot of catching up to do. Looks like you're doing okay, Joey boy. Not bad. I tell you, that little Spanish broad is fucking wild. So how'd it go at home? Good. Mama wasn't thrilled when I mentioned your name, though. And you know how she is. She wants me to get a straight job. You're gonna look for one? I don't know, but I sure as hell ain't gonna make the same mistake my old man did. I gotta pay off his debts, then get back on my feet and get my own place. I need to make some real money, and punching the clock ain't gonna cut it. Hey, you can stay with me as long as you need to, and we'll find you a job where you can make good money without killing yourself, all right? Music to my ears. Right now, I'm living off the 20 bucks the state gives me every week. <laughs> I know lots of people who pay well for a risky job, so to speak. I'm sure I can line something up for my oldest friend. The working man's a sucker, that's for damn sure. You said it. Okay, step one. I gotta introduce you to Giuseppe so we can pick up them discharge papers. Let's go. You made enough cash for all this in the last three years? More like the last three months. I barely had time to furnish the place. Three months? Holy shit. You just gotta know the right people, and you're all set. Cause you know me. So you thought about what you're gonna do now? You said you were gonna introduce me to that guy Giuseppe. No, no, no, no. I meant, you know, the big picture. When you was over there, didn't you think about what you was gonna do when you got back? No, not really. Well, besides the usual, you know. Find a nice girl, settle down. Whoa! Hey, there's gonna be plenty of time for that shit later. Right now, I'm gonna make sure you live. Hey, uh, thanks again for that thing with the discharge papers. Hey, uh, you think I could, uh, what? Drive, Vito? The roads are icy. You ain't never drove a car before. Joe, I was driving almost the whole time I was over there. Yeah, but this ain't no tank, Vito. This is one of the nicest cars money can buy. I didn't drive a tank, I drove a Jeep. What the hell's a Jeep? It's, uh... Never mind. It, you gonna let me drive or what? All right, all right. Here's the keys. Just be fucking careful. All right, when it's cold as fuck outside, you gotta give it a little more gas than usual. That's the pedal over there on the right. I know, Joe, I know. Okay, now make a right here. Then just go straight for a while. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa, slow it down a bit. No need to get pulled over for no reason. Hey, Vito. You know what time it is? It's daytime. How the fuck should I know? It's time for you to get your own fucking car. Yeah, I'd love to if I could afford one. Who says you're gonna pay for it? You know, you wasn't kidding. They really taught you to drive over there. At least something good come out of it. Ooh, get a load of that baby. Nice, that's a 42 Jefferson. 
Beautiful car like that, it'd be a shame to smash the window. You should grab yourself some lockpicks over at Giuseppe's. Welcome to Giuseppe's General Store, a thief's paradise. You name it, he's got it. He even sells phony gun permits and discharge papers for guys tired of getting their asses shot off. Hey, Giuseppe, I brought Hello, you a Joe. new customer. He's uh, straight up, right? Yes, sir, all the way. Yeah, just this here's this. Vito, my oldest friend. This is Giuseppe, the best safe cracker uh, in Empire retired, Bay. Please. How are you? Adam, the the for you? Lord. Yeah, they are. You got them finished already? It was a pain in the ass, but sure, they're done. Well, thanks. This really gonna work? Nobody from the army will bother you again, trust me. You see? what I tell you? Here's the money. Take your papers, Vito. Uh, we need a set of lockpicks, too. That we do. And guess who's paying for them? Grazie. Well, you can test it right now. Here, take this lock. You just need to insert the pick into the lock and lift all the pins. You use the wrench to hold the pins one by one. When all of the pins are set, just turn the wrench and the lock she opens. Easy. Ah, oh, damn it. See you around, Giuseppe. Sit Benadig. Easy, huh? Don't worry, you'll get the hang of it. I do it all the time when I lock my keys in the car. What's your pleasure? İlah almayız. Ya sonra mı alacaktım? Hadi beder çivit. Hadi güle güle canım. Teşekkür ederiz. Anahtar için sağ ol. Okay. You still feel like snagging that car? You kidding me? Absolutely. Well, here's your chance. Camı kırmadan açalım da. Olmaz. Step on it. Copy that. Vehicle theft in progress. Oh, in pursuit of suspect. Well, it's not over yet. Lose him quick. Ten four. Tamam anladık da. Ne tarafa kaçacağız? Polis tarafından aranıyor diyor. Ya polis kovalayacak. Ulan jo, ulan jo. Başım bir böyle belaya sokmamış. Bakıyorum. Raportacıya gidelim de bari. Arabayı boyayalım. All right. Looks like we lost it. So how do you like the car? Not too bad. Think I'll keep it. All right, let's go find ourselves a body shop. They provide the kind of services we're looking for. Hey, that don't sound cheap. Don't worry about it. I got it covered. Just find any body shop. I know the guy who runs them. The başka kabortacı gibi bakın. Yo, bizden akıllı çıktı ya. Polis mevzuyu çakırtamıyor. Hey, good afternoon. Ben girdirelim bir arabayı. Plakayı bir değiştirelim abi ilk baş. Plakadan How can sonra... I help you? New license plate. <gülüyor> For you, no problem.
There you go. Gave her a couple of tweaks. Hey, you looking for a new set of wheels? Take your pick, pal. We can paint it any color you like. Take your pick. Thank you, Paul. Thanks a lot. Aracı yasallaştırdık. Aracın plakayı değiştirdik. Arabayı boyun. İpini değiştirmeye gerek yok zaten. Alright, next you should introduce yourself to Mike Bruski. He probably have some work for you. Alright, where is he? He owns a junkyard over in Riverside. You can't miss it. Kış şartlarında anca bu kadar oluyor. Yine evem bırakacağız Joe. Hey, who's that guy back there? What guy? The guy at the body shop. Oh, Tommy. He's my buddy's nephew. He's kind of quiet, but let me tell you, the kid's some hell of a dancer. Saw him at the old dance hall in Oyster Bay a couple of weeks ago. He had all the broads going nuts. Do I detect a hint of uh, jealousy? Are you kidding? I don't need no dance moves. I got charm, my friend. Here, I'll give you some of my lines, so maybe you won't have to spend so many nights with Rosie Palm and her five sisters. Hey, here's one. Hey, is that a mirror in your pocket? Because I can see myself in your pants. Hey, here, I got another one. If I could rearrange the alphabet, I'd put you and I together. Oh. Oh, oh, this one never fails. Hey, baby, that's a nice outfit. It'll look good crumpled up at the foot of my bed in the morning. And this works for you. Oh, hey, here's a good one. Hey, do you know the difference between sex and conversation? No? You want to go back to my place and talk? You got problems, you know that? How about this one? Why don't we go back to my place and play house? You be the door and I'll slam you. Oh, that was bad. Hey, when you measure seven soft, you don't have to be good with words. You get my drift? All right, almost there. Make a right up here. Yolu biliyorum aslında. Aradan da girerdim de. Neyse. Polis abim var burada. That's Mike's junkyard there. Just drive through the gate. Adamın malzeme hurdalına baksana abi. Hey, look who's here, Mikey boy. What's going on? Shit, Mike. You can wash your fucking hands once in a while. Now I need a fucking bed. Hey, I've been working. Working people occasionally get dirty, you know. Besides, I just wiped them off. With what? The same fucking rag you used to clean the toilet, you filthy fuck? Put a lid on it. Why? What are you from the health department or you want to do some business? Business, of course. This here's my friend Vito. Vito, this is Mike Bruski. But don't shake his hand. I ain't got that much soap at home. Nice to meet you, Vito. Uh, me and Vito go way back. He just come back from overseas and he needs some cash. So I figure he can help with your uh, supply problem. I can vouch for him. Uh-huh. Okay. Joe told you about our side business, right? Yeah. I only want regular cars, nothing fancy. You get a cut of every car. I take as many as I can handle. And don't bring no cops around, okay? They follow you here. I don't know your ass from Jesus. You get me? God, God damn it, Mike. Put your grubby mitts on my fucking coat. I paid a fortune for this thing. All right, calm down or I'll stick them up your ass, you sissy. You know, dry cleaning costs Jesus these days. Christ. Plenty, and who knows if they can even get this filled you out. You shut up. Vito, listen to me. I need a Walter Coop today. 
I got a few people looking for parts, but I can't find a car. Because you don't know where to look. Every time I drive down Hunters, I see one parked by a bar there. I think the place is called the Lone Star. Isn't that a move in your neighborhood? I'll stick out like a sore thumb. All right, look, I'll give you 350 bucks for it. It's worth the risk, right? 400. <laughs> All right, deal. Avito, come on, let's go on the ammo. Meantime, I'll be sending you the cleaning bill for my coat. Yeah, I'll change my address, you rat prick. Okay, listen up. This is your maiden voyage, so to speak. So try not to fuck it up, eh? Here, Vito, take this, just in case. Hey, nice. Hey, Mike, you mind if I test this thing out here? Sure. Knock yourself out. Here you go. Aim for that old wreck over there. Parası kalın, parası kalın. Burası kalın bu. Yo mermiler. Hey, I need some more ammo. Of course you do. Here you go. Herhalde yeter ya. a bad shot. Hey, Vito, see if you can hit the gas tank. Ah, uh, shit. Did I leave gas in that thing? There's a Polak joke there, but I'll leave it alone. Oh, oh yeah, that, that reminds me. Yeah. Fuck you. All right, that's enough shooting. We got work to do. I told you what you gotta do. What else you wanna know? Look, I need one Walter Coop. What do you want me to do? Write it down Walter for you? Walter Coop. And don't go bringing the cops here. Hadi gidelim ya. Hadi Jovin. Allah uğraşmak istemem. Alright, go out the way we came in and get on the main highway going west. Don't go back through the city. Devam edemez mi? Mecburen buralardan dönelim. Go right up here. Aman pampa yolu gidiyorum. So how feel to be back? Good. You feel a lot better with some money in my pocket. Hey. What's the rush? Money don't buy you happiness, you know. Get the fuck out of here. Ah, I was just fucking with you. Don't worry about the money. This little job is just the beginning. Pretty soon you'll be rolling in it. So, Sand Island's still the same shithole it was when I left? No, no, the place actually ain't too bad now. Oh shit. How the hell that? What happened? All the moolies flew south for the winter. Of course it's still a shithole, Vito. You only been gone a couple of years. Gonna take a lot longer than that for that neighborhood to turn around. Them people multiply like rabbits. What are you gonna do? It's even worse than when we was kids. They even got some kind of gang there now. What's their fucking name? Uh, Beamers, Boomers, something like that. I don't fucking know. No, that's just fucking great. Hey, what are you worried about? They're animals. All they do is sell dope and kill each other. They ain't gonna bother a guy like you. And even if they do, that's why I gave you that pistol. Oh, by the way, you're carrying a gun now? What's the deal with that? Can't do business without it these days. Especially in this fucking neighborhood. You, uh, really know how to inspire confidence, you know that? In pursuit of a speeding vehicle! Copy that. I forgot how nice this neighborhood was. You know something? One of these days, I'm gonna buy a house here. Look at this guy. Ain't even okay, back a day and he's too good for his old neighborhood. Hey, what are you breaking my balls for? I'm just window shot. No, no, no, no. It'll be years before I can afford to like this. <laughs> you got champagne yeah, taste and beer pockets, my friend. Don't worry, though. I'm gonna help you change that. 
Yani küçük bir araban var bana yetişme imkanın yok da. Neyse. All right now go left. It's that cream-colored baby over there. Be careful. Do it quick and get the fuck out of there. Break a window if you have to and go. I'll wait for you back at Mike's. Hey, what if I run into problems? Then you deal with them. Look, consider this a test. If you fail, I hear you hire down at the factory. Right, just asking. Good luck, pal. I see you back at Mike's. Hadi bakalım görüşürüz. Yo da hiç destek atayım yok. Anca görevi yap. Hey, what the fuck are you doing over there? <gülüyor> ah, shit. Sen nereden çıktın ya? Geber lan. Ben uğraşacağım bir de. Arabayı kolay kolay çaldırmayacaklar belli. Hey! Hey what you doing motherfucker? Lan camı kır oğlum ya. Bununla uğraşacağım bir de. Arabayı zaten hurdaya vereceğim ben. Hayır arabayı hurdaya vereceğim yani bir de. Kullanacak olsam da neyse. tek parça halinde mi götür? Neyse camını kırdık Mike yapacak bir şey yok. Babanın sağını solunu da vurduk. Parlar da kırıldı. Çok kayıyor abi ya. Nasıl bir kopmuş. Arabanın bu kadar kayması normal mi? Yo yo başım belaya soktun şu Araba hırsızlığına da başladı hadi bakalım. Çar burada. Polisin yanından dikkati geçelim de. Polise vurmayalım dedik ama dokundurduk galiba. Sağından geçeyim abi. Hız yaparsak bir şey der mi ki? Yanlış yöne gidiyorduk. Şu an polisle beraber gitmek de sıkıntı. Ah, 
kafaya. Adam geldi bana vurdu abi. Ne yapayım şimdi? Lan lan lan lan lan. Ters vuruyorlar bir düz arabayı valla. Tek tek parça halinde götüremeyeceğim bunu. Babut fırladı zaten. Babutu param parça ettik. Tamam lan basma kornaya. Açıyoruz işte. Sanki babamızın hayrına gidiyoruz ya. Araba satacağız, para kazanacağız. Arabayı tek parça halinde getirdi de ama Neyse kabut lazım değildir herhalde Yo gelmiş bile <gülüyor> Hadi <gülüyor> Adama bak ya Joe'nun montunu iyice batırmış Hey hey mission accomplished how'd it go? Yeah piece of cake Except for the fact that the car belonged to a bunch of moolies who immediately tried to kill me right after you left Eee uh, probably the bombers Not this their neighborhood Guys like that, you don't have to worry about them. They just hang out on the street, talk shit, steal shit, and smoke dope. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Oh, nice. No stains. Clean. The lowlife get the money for this. Probably stole it himself. It's nice, though. How much did I say I'd give you for it again? 600. <laughs> oh, I like you, buddy, Joe. Here's your 400 bucks. Stop by again, okay? We can do some more business. Yeah, you bet, Mike. I see you, Mike. I'll stop by again real soon. All Me right, too. boys. I'll see you later. Here's your 300 bananas. I'm taking my cut as the middleman. Next time, you're on your own. All right. Thanks, Joe. All right, let's go home. I'm exhausted. Artık eve mi gidelim? Oldum ben de gerçekten gidelim ben. Bankstellerle uğraşıyor. Araba çarp. Arabayı getir. Hırsız hurdacıya ver. Bari şu sürü çalışıyor şerefsiz baksana. We should take the highway Vito. Tamam kanka otobanı bulacağım zaten. Alright you pulled off that job without fucking it up. Nice going. Yeah but I almost got my ass kicked. I didn't live through the war just to die in Sand Island. Hey, that's all part of the deal, pal. Take it or leave it. Besides, it ain't like you're qualified for anything else. Eh, I guess you're right. Don't worry about it. It's all gonna be a piece of cake. So, uh, what's the story with Kuzma? Mike's a good guy to know. He's a little grouchy, but he's always got a scam going. He deals with stolen cars mostly. Spent some time inside a while back. I heard he used to stick up gas stations back in the day. You gonna make him pay the cleaning bill for your jacket? Nah, I'll let that one slide. I do a lot of business with the guy. Plus, he's got one hell of a temper. One time we was at the track and some mix spilled a beer on his wind ticket. Mike beat the shit out of him till he went blind in one eye. For a lousy ten bucks, you believe that shit? Sounds like kind of a scumbag. Hey, you just gotta know how to handle these people. And Mike's a pussy cat compared to some of the guys I met since you shipped out. You'll see. Hey, is there a safe place to park around here? I don't want to leave this thing out in the street. Yeah, that's why you're parking your car next to mine in the garage. The streets are full of criminals these days. Yeah, the neighborhood ain't what it used to be. Bir de bizim arabayı çalmasınlar. Çalarlar mı? Çalarlar abi baksana. Biz çaldığımıza göre bizim arabayı da çalarlar yani. Kaktırma. Kaktırma Joe. Adamı ben vurmadım. 
Bazen de kavga çıkarmak lazım. Aha polis geldi lan. Hey, this is Joe's bed. I'm sleeping on a couch. I missed Joe when I was overseas, but uh, not that much. Onun mutfakta uyuyalım artık. Devlet düşmüş. Onun dairesi. Bat bindi. Telefon neredeydi? Joe's pleasure, Palace. Vito speaking. Vito, why didn't you come home last night? I was worried sick. Mama? I didn't know you had Joe's number. And whose phone is this? So have you spoken to Mr. Papalardo? Find yourself a job? Yeah, he told me to come by and see him today. Hopefully he's got some work for me. Okay, Vito. Good luck, mio bambino. All right, bye, Mama. Otur part rıhtımına git bay Papalardo'yu gör. Yak şu dayak. Kalite bu abi işte. Görsellik, kalite. Baya güzel yani. Kapat. Deneme amaçlı yakıyorum ya bunları. Yazılar ağaç dedi. O, o evin altın üstü. Lan abi adam sapık ya bir sapık. Her yanında kadın resmi var. Baban yok. Evet, bugünlük burada sonlayalım arkadaşlar. Mafya 2 Definitive Edition'da kaldığımız yerden devam edeceğiz. Birinci bölüm diyelim ve oyunumuzu burada sonlayalım. Umarım hikaye hoşunuza gitmiştir. Gördüğünüz gibi bu bir mafya oyununun hikayesi. Joe ile birlikte Vito'nun hikayesine kaldığımız yerden devam edeceğiz arkadaşlar. Kendinize iyi bakın. Şimdilik hoşça kalın. Serinin devamı için beğeni yapmayı, yorum atmayı ve lütfen abone olmayı unutmayın. Hoşça kalın arkadaşlar.